Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm going to be drawing a fairy scene, landscape, um, with characters. And I did this because I have really wanted to get better at drawing backgrounds. I don't, if you've noticed, don't draw them a whole lot. And so I do, I wanna get better at drawing a whole scene of a background and a character, not just the character. And so I decided a good way to start that out would be a fairy scene. And I feel like I can make it as detailed as I want and I can make it not as detailed as I want. And I guess I kind of went with the less detailed because <laughs> I'm easing into this. Um, so what I did is I drew a tree on the side and as you notice I have these lines kind of intertwining because you know bark isn't just all one sheet um, you know it kind of has these lines and they do they kind of intertwine so I that's why I did that the way I did then I decided to draw a mason jar and I have seen this before of people using, you know, mason jars for kind of a mini terrarium. And so that's kind of what my vision was, is to kind of have this terrarium little jar in the forest. Because I always think of forests when I think of fairies, because that's the way the media has portrayed them. Um, so that's kind of why I did that and I decided to draw mushrooms because that's another thing that comes to mind when I think of fairies is I think of mushrooms and so I decided to draw some mushrooms and um, something that I just have to preface is I don't like the way that it turned out I don't like the way <laughs> the end product looks um, I've just been struggling with having a happy medium of taking my time, but then if I take my time, I go, okay, well, if I'm taking my time, I'm going to use, um, time lapse. I use the time lapse and then it's not long enough. It's too short. And then I go, okay, I'm going to use it just regular, and then I will speed it up as much as it will allow me to, which isn't very fast, because um, I can't download it on my computer, so it's just, I'm editing on my iPad. But I speed it up as much as it, it will let me, and then it's too long. And so I am still just kind of struggling with finding the right speed, and I want to show as much as my process as I can because I watch a lot of art YouTubers and I am just fascinated with the way that they just show their whole process and they're so they're so talented and they're so good at what they do and um, you know I'm still feel like I'm still learning a lot because I have learned even though when I'm watching these art youtubers they're not necessarily saying step by step okay now you draw a circle and then now you draw you know the cross references or you know even whatever they don't necessarily do that they just show them drawing and them talking about their process kind of like how I do and I have actually learned a lot just by watching them and the way that they you know draw things or the way that they portray things the way they draw a nose or whatever and I go oh that's a good idea and so then I start trying it and you know get better and find what I like and what I don't like and so that's why I kind of do that because I want to show my process and I want to but not to the point where it's boring you to death <laughs> that makes sense so I kind of struggle but I'm like I said I'm still learning I'm still trying to figure it out and I will get there <laughs> um, 
Something I have also learned is when you draw characters or you draw people is you kind of do have to give them this little tiny backstory in your mind to kind of be able to portray the people how you want them to look or the feeling that people get when they see it. Um, so for example, this fairy that I'm drawing, I drew her with round wings because I go, I, you know, you just associate round things with kind of this bubbly personality, you know, um, happy and, you know, so that's kind of why I went with rounder wings and a rounder dress as well. I decided to do a mushroom dress because, again, like I said, I picture this fairy being very bubbly and just a nice personality and so that's kind of why I did it that way and I also drew her with a mushroom dress because I really like in Tinkerbell how they all have you know dresses and outfits using what they have what resources they have because you know they can't just go out and buy <laughs> fabric you know, that they have to use leaves or they use flowers. And I really like that. So I decided to kind of incorporate that with mine as well. Um, something that, again, with talking about taking my time is I feel like I went too fast with uh, doing the hands because the hands do not turn out very well in this, <laughs> this drawing, but that's okay. So... Another thing that you'll have to excuse, <laughs> and I've noticed this because while editing, I have noticed that I drew the butterfly in proportion to the fairies if they were the same size as people. <laughs> and looking back as I was editing, going, that's actually a really small butterfly. Because <laughs> butter, that would that would be a speck <laughs> you know that, that would be so small <laughs> compared to the real world you know that's like I don't know especially compared to the mushrooms you know that sometimes they can be the size of really big mushrooms so I should have done the butterfly a little bigger but that's okay it turns out cute and we're just gonna ignore the fact that it's not proportioned into scale um if you notice the circles that I kind of have around the page as I kind of pictured these like glowing fuzzies, I guess you could say, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it um, because I kind of pictured and I wanted to envision this scene as being kind of dark in the forest and not during the daytime. So that way, you know, these little glowing things would be glowing. Um, but again I don't like the way that it turns out because I don't like the background color I chose um, but we learn the best from our failures and our mistakes so I definitely learned and again like I said this is just me kind of trying out how you know having a whole scene and having people and a background so it's kind of a work in progress um, and I decided to draw these two characters. Um, I started off with my favorite skin tone, and then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do something different on the different, um, the other fairy, and decided to give her a darker skin tone. Um, it's not something I do very often, and I'm not sure why. Um, Cause I do, I mean, all people are beautiful, and so, I, it's something I need to work on of doing more of but I also decided to give her a, a darker skin tone because I gave I will give her in just a minute um, sunflower petals so I draw them yellow and I really like the color like a yellow with darker skin tones I just think they complement each other really well so that's why I kind of went with that um, and I like the way that they kind of contrast each other. I, I think it, it fits very well. Um, but 
yeah, nothing too special about coloring the mushrooms or anything like that. I use kind of an orangey red and then just a plain pure red. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it. Um, with the background, what I do, since I did want it to be kind of dark, is... I do a really dark blue and then I was like, oh, let me get kind of like a purpley mist and it doesn't, it just doesn't fit well together. It's like too dark and then the people are like too bright. So I should have like darkened their tones even more than they already are. Cause I, I feel like what's really pleasing to people when they look at something is they kind of like these lighter muted tones. like. If you actually think about it, what draws people is, you know, not these bright, super colorful, you know, that these are kind of darker colors um, because, for example, their wings, I wish I had a lighter blue because I don't want, I want them to be see-through, but I want them to kind of have this bluish tint. And this is the lightest blue that I have. So what I do later on is I take my colorless blender and what it does is alcohol um, lifts other alcohol. And so what I do is I color it in with this blue and then I go in with the colorless blender and color right over the top and it kind of lifts it and makes it a little lighter but not a whole lot. But I, it's something I'm gonna have to play around with because I do like the, I think fairies are cute, and I just think they're really, I just think they're cute. They're just what it is. <laughs> and so, um, but like I said, I feel kind of rushed when I do YouTube videos and when I'm um, filming myself. And so it's really hard for me to like kind of like sit back and be like, okay, I need to take my time. Because then again, I, I get to the this crossroads of like it's too long it's too short people are going to be bored and you know that's just what goes through my mind but um so in the end something that i wish i did different was i would say make the background a lighter color because it does end up too dark with the rest of the stuff or um that it's that like really dark royal blue and i feel like i should have done just a shade lighter um again like i said these i don't have a whole lot of markers so i kind of just work with what i have and i also shade with colored pencils because I feel like colored pencils, they're either just a shade darker or a shade lighter than the colors that I'm using. And I know that alcohol markers are meant to be blended and to use them for shading as well as not just coloring. But I struggle because I feel like I don't have nice in-between colors. So like the skin tone, I feel like if, you know, the darkest, you know, the next darkest one that I have to that is the sunflower fairy you know that i go look at the mushroom fairy compared to the sunflower fairy there's a big difference in shading and it may look kind of weird so that's why i shade with color pencils because it's still not as big of a contrast that it's just you know a little darker than what their skin tone is or just a little darker than you know the leaves the color of the leaves or you know whatever it may be so that's kind of why I color I shade with colored pencils instead of shading with the markers eventually I do want more markers because I really do like using them I like the look that it gives I feel like it gives this um, good flat tone um, so I definitely want to learn not learn I definitely want to get more um, so that way I will be able to eventually shade with them but in the meantime that's why I don't <laughs> um, but 
all the rest, I actually do like the way that it looks right now. <laughs> and maybe what I should have done is I should have left their wings white and should have done the background the color of their wings. So it's something I should have done because I feel like, again, it's too dark. But I wanted, it's it's just a struggle. And I feel like I could have captured what I was going for on digital art because you have the whole spectrum of the rainbow of different hues and different saturations and tones and, you know, stuff like that. So what I do is the little dots, the glowing dots, is I go in with a gel pen and I kind of, you know, just draw the dot and kind of circle it and so kind of has that glowy look and then I kind of just smear it with my finger to kind of mute it down and then I go in and I re go over the circle in the middle so that way it's vibrant so it kind of gives that look but I, again it didn't come across very well <laughs> so but I feel like the shading didn't go too bad so it's just something that I'm going to have to learn and like I said, this is kind of my, I don't really draw backgrounds a whole lot and a lot of, you know, I don't draw a whole lot of scenes, but um, these colored pencils are actually different. I got these just, you know, at Walmart or Crafts or Michaels or, you know, a craft store like that. Um, it's not it's like a step up from just Crayola colored pencils because these have, they're very pigmented, which is really nice, but they're not as expensive as Prismacolor pencils. So that's why I have, I was like, oh, I need to start using these instead of my other ones because I do kind of like how pigmented they are that, you know, if I'm putting down a color, it's going to be that color all the way through. But that's kind of just what I've gotten through this process and thank you for being patient with me and thank you for sticking it out and thank you for all my supporters out there thank you for those who have subscribed it's a big help and you know it's it's really supporting me and I thank you all Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.